widespread June 25th anti-government protests may be tucked away in some people's memories, but for others, it is a stark reminder of injustice, pain and turmoil. While a man from Bondo in Siaya County is still living through the pain and anguish of a gunshot injury. And TV visited him at his rented single room where he narrated how his life was shot into a downward spiral since he suffered the injury. He's now forced to rely on his wife to be his caregiver and the household's breadwinner as he's unable to carry out various tasks. Gina Kirori with that report. Henry Ocheng's steps are measured as he labors through what would previously be easy tasks for him to carry out within his home in Siaya County's Bondo Subcounty. The discharge summary form from Bondo Subcounty Hospital partly tells of the events that happened on June 25th when gunshots rang through the air. At the time, Henry was ferrying a passenger on his motorbike. <laughs> Since then, Henry's life has spiraled into a myriad of one challenge atop the other. His being physically limited has trickled down to being unable to earn his daily bread through his Boda Boda business, which was previously his sole source of income. I was in a house and I was in a house, but I didn't have a house to pay my house. I had a house to pay my house. Na hata saa hii kuna bibi na watoto. Shida ni moja kupata chakula nini? Ndio shida. Kupata chakula ni ngumu. Mimi nakunya tu uji na maji. The surgery performed on Henry to fix his fractured femur resulted in complications which means he needs corrective surgery for him to fully recover. Henry, a father of a 3 month old, is however in a catch 22 situation. Without the means to provide, he cannot pay for surgery. He has resulted to surviving on painkillers to get through the bouts of pain he experiences. His wife has had to become the breadwinner in the household as she performs manual jobs to sustain the family. All this as the authorities are yet to bring to book officers who are behind this and many other incidents across the country which many have decried as being unnecessary and unlawful. Promises to deliver justice are still just that, promises, while the reality for the victims is a painful and grim one. Ngena Kirori, NTV.